windy out here and we got a sad video guys well but we're here to say goodbye to our 2021 Mach 1 that used to be boosted to have a bunch of goodies on it. And we're here to say goodbye and explain what's going on and what it means for future Mustang content in the channel. Don't get too worried about it though. There is a big plan. But before we do a final drive, let's take one last look at the Mach 1, guys. This is sad, but this is gonna pave the way for the future. Hear me out. Yep, one final look at our beloved 2021 Mach 1 that had boost on it, had a fuel system, had all of those goodies on it, had the interior bits, everything. It's all pretty much back to stock. We left some goodies on there for the new buyer. He wanted to keep all the handling package stuff. We'll discuss it in the car a little bit further out of the wind. But, you know, the market, today's market value of these, these cars really speaks. And, uh, you know, when somebody throws a, a dollar sign at you, that uh, is too good to be true. Sometimes you got to just jump on it. Bittersweet. So I love this car. This is my favorite S550 Mustang that Ford has made. Period. Dot. So, um, yeah, everything is back to stock minus the handling package bits that we've added. We've left those right there with the GT500 style. Peek under the hood and show you what's going on. Man, this is a tough video to make. All right, so we did leave the hood struts. I just want, didn't want to take them off. So. I'm sure the new owner will be happy. We've discussed everything in detail anyway, what's being left, but here we go. Stock, back to stock completely. Even the exhaust is all back to stock. Like I said, we're gonna leave the handling package stuff. You remember we had this custom painted and now I've had this car for about seven months. There is a plan for a replacement. By the way, all the goodies are still in the garage and everything. For the next possible uh, Mustang coming to the channel, whatever fits, uh, we're definitely gonna keep it and see if we can fit it on the new car. Possibly, possibly. <sighs> Tough video. I've done this a time or two before, but like I said, there's a plan, there's a plan. So. You know, we just had all those things done. We're gonna go for our final drive now and just have a discussion and talk about why in the crap am I getting rid of this car? 2021 Mach 1 700A. We did all the handling package stuff on it. It had boost on it. We, you know, we did a lot of world first stuff with this. We did the world first ESS supercharger on it. We did the world first uh, course X pipe confirmed by all these companies. Kind of, I get it. It's kind of a gimmicky thing to say world's first, but truth be told, you know, we, we did pave the way on YouTube a little bit with this car, but okay. So let's discuss what is going on? You know, we just pulled it down. We added more power. We did the fuel system. We'd pull it down. We were having fun with the car and we're getting ready to start doing some race stuff with it, right? But then I got an email from a potential buyer and uh, agreed that, you know, we could leave the handling package stuff on there. When I bought the car, I, it, it stickered just under 61. I only owe 40, at the time of this video, I only owed 44,000 and some change, right? So I had a lot of equity going in. So that's what's gonna lead us into the direction of the channel and what's going on with Mustang content. You know, where do we go from here if we get rid of this car? Well, we're gonna focus on the Harley build. We're gonna focus on, if you guys missed it, the new Ranger Tremor that we have. So we're gonna do some off-roady stuff with that. We're gonna continue the bike build and we're gonna be on the hunt for a new Mustang. Now, like I said, we have to go up. We have to go up. So that means we either find another Mach 1 and I'll probably go 10 R80 this time. Don't kill me in the comments, but honestly, I wanna do some more drag race stuff and we'd have to sink a lot of money into this car if we wanted to start beating up on it again. Drive shaft, axles, all of those things, thousands of dollars. I just figured, the, you know what, why not take it and then be on the hunt for maybe a GT500 or put us in a good position to, you know, hunt for a 2023 Mustang. Maybe something special will come out, don't know yet. Or there's also the 2024 Mustang coming out, but we'd have to wait some time for that. But we'd have a lot of money to put down on that car and we can get all the bells and whistles, all the features, all the latest tech in that car when it debuts. So yes, it's going to be some time from now, but you know, patience is a virtue and I suck at that, but you know, maybe this time patience will pay off. 
the market's crazy right now. These cars are bringing in dumb money, stupid money. And that means that like GT500 shopping could be a challenge too, because like I don't, I don't, I don't favor spending a dollar over MSRP. I refuse to do it. Me personally, you guys are all adults. You can make your own decisions. I just kind of refuse to pay added market value. You know, and even in this day and age, when like supply chain issues are a thing and the demand is high and supply is short and all that, and you just can't find Mustangs anywhere, I still refuse to pay ADM. But I digress. So what are we gonna do from here? Well, we're gonna start shopping. We're gonna start looking around for another Mustang to replace this. It may take a little bit of time, you know, because we wanna find the right one. Potentially might even hunt down another Mach 1, but this time there's a couple of options that I want because this one I found on the lot and I loved the car and it came loaded, but there's a couple of key features that had I custom ordered the car, I would have wanted. And I really miss that from my red Mustang. I know, I know like B&O audio system. Well, I know B&O sucks, right? Well, I actually kind of like it. And it's just one of those things, if you're spending the money, a lot of money on these cars, you want the small benefits. I don't know, maybe there'll be a 2023 Mach 1 too that's gonna be coming out from Ford. Time will tell here in a, I guess a couple of months around September, October timeframe. As soon as more 2023 Mustang information is released, you know, maybe potentially there'll be a Mach 1 still for 2023 and they won't retire for 2022. If that's the case, we could do an order on one of those spec just the way that I would want it from the factory instead of hunt, hunting down something like we did uh, on the lot with this one and missing a couple of things. Anyway, all right, so I know this is going to be a tough video to watch and, you know, there's a lot of fans for this build, this Mach 1, this build that we had going on and of course I am too, you know, that's why I did it and uh, I love this car and I just want to talk for a minute about, let's recap the last seven to eight months I've had with the car. No issues, okay, solid build, solid car. All the products that we put on the build were flawless. Never had any problems, never had any hiccups. You know, lethal performance, fuel system. We had Corsa exhaust, their, their X-Pipe. We did the ESS supercharger, which I freaking love. Love this centrifugal route. And I'll probably do that again unless we buy a GT500. Um, anyway, we had dynamic lights on it. We had, you know, uh, a we had all of the different companies out there, the carbon fiber bits, you know, the steering wheel, we had all of these different things and it really came out to be like a picture perfect uh, example of what I envisioned at the beginning. You know, it, it just came together, the, all the pieces of the puzzle fit perfectly. It really came together, you know, flawlessly and I, I appreciate the car in every way. I love this car to death and I'm gonna, it's gonna hurt to see it go. But I know that there's gonna be something on the horizon that's gonna satisfy myself and you guys out there watching the content. And uh, you know, there's only, like I said, one way to go and that's up. But I think a Mach 1, again, like I've defended in the past, uh, you know, is, is the definitely, is definitely, in my opinion, the best S550 that Ford has made. It's just the perfect blend of parts it's basically a GT350 and a GT shell, and uh, it's just it's just an amazing machine. It handles so well. I love it. Um, but yeah, and uh, anyway, but you know, this is a, it's a bittersweet end. You know, I'm, I'm glad to see it's going to go to a new home. Hopefully, the new owner, you know, will take good care of it, uh, as I tried to do. You know, um, I'm, I'm kind of in a way glad to see it go before we started really tracking the car and you know potentially breaking things because things happen you know when you're on a drag strip or you're on a road course you know things do happen you know the paint gets beat up with the rocks if you're on the road course and you know the brakes and does that i don't know what i say this i'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad to see the car go out on the high you know uh it's it's unmolested it's unhurt you know it's it's still low miles under 3,000 miles and uh, you know it's going to be a good car for somebody and uh, I hope the new owner appreciates it and it's really going to pave the way for the future you know new new car shopping new performance car Mustang shopping and also you know there's some other things that are going on as well you know also behind the scenes there's some things going on too like we you know want to me and the family kind of want and kind of need a bigger house 
you know, and more garage space, which is going to, you know, welcome more builds and so on and so forth to the channel. But we need the square footage, you know, as families grow, you know, my kids are pretty old, but, you know, still I need the room. You guys get it. So I got a ton of equity in my house, a ton of equity. And uh, so now might be an okay time to basically double the house that we have while I was keeping the same payment. There's a way to do it. And uh, it's something that we've been wanting to do for years and now potentially might be the best time to do it. We're gonna look into it. So yeah, definitely some things going on in the background. You know, there's YouTube life and there's fast car life, but then there's also real life. And so getting rid of this car is a way to kind of do maybe both anyway but i appreciate everybody out there that that has been watching the mach 1 videos we might find another mach 1 we might find gt500 we might wait for a 2024 mustang we might buy a 2023 mustang i don't know what we're doing yet but uh the search will uh continue the search will, will commence and then continue until you know we find something that's going to satisfy us so anyway but i appreciate you guys i love you all god bless i'll see you guys in the next video comment down below your thoughts it's not goodbye content's not gonna let up you know we still have a lot going on and like i said we're going to be searching for another mustang and uh you know we got to go bigger we got always got to go bigger so time will tell we'll see but i'll see you guys later next video bye